After more than 30 years as senior pastor of Cross Church, Pastor Ronnie Floyd spoke to his congregation for the last time today. Fox 24's Inkirika Azuka was at the service as Floyd's son, Nick, assumed, assumed his new role. Well, Kelly, it was an emotional day at the Bud Walson Arena Sunday morning as hundreds listened to Dr. Ronnie Floyd's final message as Cross Church's senior pastor. Members of the congregation tell me they're hopeful for the future of the church under the leadership of new pastor Nick Floyd. And when you leave people you love, it's sad. I've been crying a lot. You know, I've been here 32 years and seven months. You don't leave in 32 seconds. On Sunday, Dr. Ronnie Floyd gave his last service to hundreds of people at the Bud Walton Arena in Fayetteville. He's moving to Nashville and taking a position as president of the Southern Baptist Convention's Executive Committee. Well, it'll be a challenge to, uh, to move and to mobilize uh, 47,000 plus churches across the United States. He's passing the torch to his son. I guess I am the senior pastor at Cross Church. It's the first time I've had to say that. <laughs> Dr. Nick Floyd, who was voted into the position in April. Yeah, I definitely have big shoes to fill, and I've, uh, in the last few weeks, have become aware of how large those shoes really are, even though I've been here for, for 10 years. We've had nothing but the best with Ronnie Flo Floyd as our pastor, and we will have nothing but the best for the future with Nick Floyd as our senior pastor. Congregation members agree that whether they've been a part of the church for years, 22 years and nine months, or if they're newcomers. Dr. Ronnie Floyd and I met uh, last year at the Museum of the Bible in Washington, D.C. The impact Floyd made in their lives won't be forgotten. I think that Dr. Floyd is one of few men today, um, one of few Christian men today, that set the standard as men of God for the next generation. Floyd's wife Gina says she's sad to be leaving Northwest Arkansas, but is blessed to have been a part of this community. You are great people. We have loved living here, serving here, raising our children here. Including son Nick, who Floyd says is more than ready for the job. He has no bigger fan than his dad. And so I will pray him through and encourage him along the way. Now, Dr. Floyd tells me that even though he will not be a part of the church anymore, congregation members can still reach out to him at any time. Live in studio in Kira Kazuka, Fox 24 News.